Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Tonight is paper and ink card class for June for my local ladies. Um, I, we're, this is card number one out of four for a paper and ink card class in June. If you're not local, no worries. You can get the paper and ink card class kits for free when you place an order at MarissaAlvarez.StampinUp.net. All you have to do is place an order that's $50 or more before tax on my web store with the host code. Make sure your mailing address is good and your customer profile. And after the promotion period, I will pack up a kit, send it off to your mailing address automatically. It's just my free gift to you for placing your order. So the Cows It Going note card is the first one of four in the paper and ink card class for June. You might get any of these three color combinations. So here's our pretty peacock, terracotta tile, or today we're gonna make the seaside spray version. What you need to make this card, if you don't have the kit, if you wanna follow along with me on your own, is the Over the Moon stamp set. It's a brand new cling rubber set from Stampin' Up! 2019-2020 catalog. Love this set. There's some really great new line art images in the 2019-2020 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. If you haven't seen that yet, if you need a copy, you can email me. Uh, if you've got questions about the offer for the paper and ink card class by mail, my email is marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Reach out. I'm happy to answer questions for you, get you catalogs, or um, whatever I can do to help you stay crafty. Okay, so Over the Moon is our feature stamp set. I've used my... Um, Pinewood planks embossing folder on this card. Stitched shapes framelits for that second. I know I think this is the largest stitched square. Um, I've got my well written framelits here, and I also would, if I could find it, have my bouquet bunch, but I've lost the die set. I'll find it, I'm sure. Things have been a little chaotic around kitchen table stamper. But what I did was for this little tag embellishment here, I took the tag die from Bouquet Bunch and the heart die from Well Written. I taped the two together and then ran through with Pretty Peacock cardstock or with Terracotta Tile cardstock and you get this adorable little open heart tag embellishment. Mm -hmm. So those are the die sets I used for that one. Let's see, how about ink? Let's tell, I got some punches here too. Let me show you those. I got my sprig punch and I've done the punching for you on the sprig punch from Pear Pizzazz. And then I'm going to use my classic label punch to punch out my cows that go in sentiment. Ink for the seaside spray version and for the terracotta tile version is Memento Tuxedo Black and Pretty Peacock. For the um, Pretty Peacock version, I use terracotta tile instead of Pretty Peacock for the greening. So you might switch out those ink colors or get creative and use a color that you like. I'm also going to color my cow with some Stampin' Blends. Pretty simple coloring. I've got my soft suede combo pack, light flirty flamingo, and then I've got the light petal pink. The kit contains your eight and a half by five and a half card base. We're gonna emboss it on the video, but if you get the kit, it'll come to you embossed. It's scored at four and a quarter. It's a standard card base. We've got a piece of the new 2019-2021 In Color Designer Series paper. This is two by four piece, and this one is Seaside Spray. The Whisper White is a 2 and 5 eighths inch stitched square from the Stitch Shapes dies. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. This is about 1 by 3 and a half for stamping and then punching out our Cows That Go In Sentiment. If you had a 2 and a half by 3 and a half inch piece of Pear Pizzazz, you could punch out some sprigs. I got about a sprig and a half here. Here's my little open heart tag. This is with Pretty Peacock and I'll do that die cutting for you. We got about eight inches of linen thread for a bow on our tag, and then this gorgeous, um, brand new half inch scalloped linen ribbon. This is the Seaside Spray version. You'll have whatever color matches your designer series paper in your kit. 
All right, before we get stamping, I'm gonna grab the Big Shot and do quick embossing on my background because we've almost got a clear space here. Let me grab my Pinewood Planks and my Big Shot. Okay, here's that Pinewood Planks embossing folder and I want my planks to run vertical. So I'm gonna line up my card base so that the planks run nice and straight. I'm gonna put the back of the card through the machine and then give it a crank. And there's our awesome Pinewood planks. Looks like barnwood. I love the Pinewood planks with the cows. All right, let's do some stamping now. Got cows it going and I'm gonna ink it up with Pretty Peacock and just stamp it to the left side of my scrap, just a little bit left of center. Give that a second to dry before we put it through the punch. Let's stamp our cow. Now our little Bessie here is going to get stamped high of center because we want room for that ribbon. She almost fills the square. Make sure that her feet are level and she's not walking uphill or downhill. Cute little image. All right, clear away the ink pads. Let's do a little coloring and some punching. All right, I've got the soft suede combo pack and I'm gonna do the spot here just to show you. All of the soft suede spots are colored the same. And with those light soft suede and little circles, And then I'll do kind of a shadow along the bottom with the darker soft suede. And then I'll bring the two shades together with little circles. All right, so I've colored my cow spots, hair, tail, hooves, all the same way. Now some really quick just coloring in. We've got this light petal pink and we're gonna color in Bessie's snout and udders and we're just filling in really saturating the cardstock here lots of ink just one shade though and then we've got our flirty flamingo this is the light shade and we're just going to do inside the nostrils and inside Bessie's here. There we go. Coloring's done. Super simple. It's a good card to make a bunch of. You can send out cows that go in notes to all of your friends. All right. Let's punch out our sentiment. We want this pretty far to the left so that when we add the tag, we don't cover our sentiment. I'm going to adhere my designer series paper to the card base with some snail and I'm going about maybe an inch, inch and a quarter from the top, but all the way to the right. Now Bessie, let's adhere our cow to the card. My designer series paper. Let's see here. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, so we got about a half an inch maybe from the right hand side. Next up is ribbon. I like to take a look at that little bit of tear and tape and I'll put it right along the edge of the designer series paper here and over the stitched. All sticky. Let's get our ribbon and I'm going to put the edge of the scallop just over the edge of the designer series paper. Then I'll take my ribbon snips and cut off that angle. I'm going to clean up the open edge and then get some mini dimensionals here and 
adding a couple mini dimensionals to my cows are going sentiment. That's going to extend past Bessie a little bit and kind of tuck right up along the edge of the scallop. Let's embellish with the little sprigs. What I did with my sprigs is I took them and cut them off. Made three separate kind of shorter pieces. I'm going to add a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. And just embellish. Okay. We're almost done. Look how cute. All right. Our tag needs a bow. It's a little bow. Excess. Oh, definitely need my ribbon snips. Paper snips get dull from so much paper. Love it. Let me get a little mini glue dot here. I found that that's the best way to add this little tag. Put a glue dot right behind and add it with a little jaunty angle. So cute. All right, there it is. Cows it going. I've got questions about paper and ink cards in my Rolling Meadows home studio. We've got questions about paper and ink cards to go and how you can get a free kit. If you've got questions about the project itself, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. If you want to get in on the free paper and ink card class kit, place your order of $50 or more using the host code marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.